Hi guys, welcome to lesson 32 of the second grade worksheet, and today we are going to learn how to find perimeters. Example, find a perimeter of a shape. A perimeter is the length of the entire shape. So when we're looking at the example rectangle, this side over here is 4 feet, which means the same side over here will also be 4 feet. This side is 7 feet, so the same side over here will also be 7 feet. So to find the entire perimeter, you're just going to add all the sides together. So 4 plus 4 plus 7 plus 7. We're going to add all four of these numbers together to get 22 feet as our perimeter. All right, let's try number one. This one, we have all of the sides. All of the sides are three feet. So just like the example, we're going to add all of the sides together. We have three plus three plus three plus three. What is three plus three? Three plus three is six. And these two, three plus three, is also six. So six plus six equals 12. So the answer is 12 feet. All right, number two. We have four feet here, four feet here, and four feet here. We're going to add all of the numbers up, so 4 plus 4 plus 4. Oops. What is 4 plus 4? Four? 4 plus 4 is 8, and we're going to add another 4. 8 plus 4 equals... 8 plus 4 equals 12 also, so the answer is 12 feet. Alright, let's do some over here. Let's just do number 3. We have 5 feet, 5 feet, and 4 feet, 4 feet. Now we're going to add all of them together. We have 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4. Let's do 5 plus 5 first. What's 5 plus 5? 5 plus 5 is 10. What is 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 is 8, and now we're going to add these two numbers together. What is 10 plus 8? 10 plus 8 equals 18. So the answer is 18 feet. Alrighty. Now let's move on to writing fractions. It says write a fraction that matches the picture. All right, number one, we have one square shaded in and the rest of the three are blank. So how many squares do we have in total? We have one, two, three, four. So the fraction is going to first look like the bottom number is going to be four because the bottom is how many squares there are in total. And the number on top is going to be how many boxes are colored in. Oops. So in number one, only one box over here is colored in blue, so it's one out of four. Same thing for number two. How many boxes are there in total? We have one, two, three, four boxes in total. So same, we're going to put the four on the bottom. And how many boxes are colored in? One, two, three. There are three green boxes, so this is three out of four. Alrighty, now let's do, let's try number three. We have, how many boxes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six boxes in total, so we know the bottom number is going to be six. And how many boxes are colored in? One two three four four boxes are colored gray so the top number is four four out of six Alrighty. word problems you see a square that has a side length of six what is the perimeter of the square Alrighty. so let first let's draw a square it's kind of bad let me draw it perfect All right, we have a square, and it has a side length of six feet. So all the sides are six feet. So we have six 
six, six, six. All four sides are six feet. So what do we do here? We add all the sides together, remember? So we're going to do six plus six plus six plus six because we have four sixes in total. So let's try that. What is six plus six? Six plus six is 12. This other six plus six is also 12. So what is 12 plus 12? Try to use your mental math brain. 12 plus 12 equals 24. So the perimeter of the square is 24 feet. Number two. A side of an equilateral triangle is 7 feet. Find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle. Alright, so first let's draw an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle that has oops, three sides and all three sides are the same length already. So all three sides seven feet because they're all equal it's called an equilateral triangle so we're gonna write a seven seven and a seven so what do we do we add all the sides together so seven plus seven plus seven equals first let's do the first sevens so what is seven plus seven Seven plus seven equals fourteen. And we have another seven. What is fourteen plus seven? Fourteen plus seven equals twenty one. So the answer is twenty one. Oops, twenty one. All right, guys, that is it for this week. You can go back and do the questions we didn't solve together on your own. And if you need help, you can go back to my explanations and look over everything again. I'll, good job today, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.